Guys, I went thrifting at Goodwill and I got a bunch of stuff. So come thrift with me and see what I got.
So that was my fun trip to Goodwill. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me walk around. I always feel like it's so relaxing to watch somebody shop around Goodwill and to look around and see what's on the shelf and go, oh, you missed that, you missed that. I did notice one thing when I was in the Christmas aisle, there was a sign that said Merry Christmas down on the bottom shelf. Did you guys catch that? It was wood, it was really cool. I didn't even look at it, like I should have picked it up and checked it out. I might have been able to do something with it, but I had a pretty good cart full. Um, I spent 50, oh my gosh, I think $53. That's the most I think I've ever spent at Goodwill. But the prices, if you saw the candlesticks, $13 and $10 for candlesticks. Granted, they were heavy. They were heavy candlesticks, both sets of them. So if somebody were going to buy those, they would probably buy them for their own decor in their own home, uh, which I had kind of was thinking about because I really did like both sets of those. I wouldn't have bought both, but I, I thought they were pretty cool. But um, to resell, I wouldn't be able to do anything here, I don't think. So um, let's get into what I actually got with none of this, enough of this blabbing about, right? So the first thing I got was this little, um, house wooden house thing i've seen them with the the greenery in the middle of it i don't have any right handy but uh anything big enough anyway but i thought for four dollars this was a pretty good deal i could get some kind of a flower pot and some greenery or uh you know i could decorate this up for the fall or even christmas time and change it out as the seasons go and maybe it would sell one way or another but I thought this was pretty good. It's good and solid. It's cute. Uh, let's see. I got this basket. This basket was in a two pack. I did not want the other basket. So I kind of pulled it out of the plat, the, uh, the tape and, um, is very primitive and I love this shape basket and I love the flat back with the big hoops so that you can hang them up. Yeah. So I got this, the whole, the, this basket and the other one together were $2. But I already have a basket like that in my booth and it has not sold. So I'm gonna have to bring it home and do something different with it. So I didn't really want another one. So I just took this one out and I ended up paying $2 for this one, but that's okay. I really, really like it. It's very pretty. I got these as well. Uh, I can't remember if these were on the video or not. Uh, these were $4 a piece. When I say these, there's two of them. And they're really nice wood, um, uh, just wood pieces, plates, I don't know. But they would make great um, tiered tray, something like that. So they're four, they were $4 a piece. Solid wood, very pretty. This one has a little bit of a um, fracture in it or a crack in it right here. But I don't think it's going to make it a problem. So... I really like it. Thought they were pretty. This one was for me, or is for me. I got this for four dollars. It is a ladybug house, and I'm always looking at these little bee houses, ladybug houses, butterfly houses. I love having those around. I have a huge uh, vegetable garden and a lot of flowers around my yard, and I love having the pollinators and things like that, uh, especially ladybugs because they get rid of some of the bad things that are in my garden. So I really like that. And this was $4, very solid little piece. I'm not sure if I'll paint it or just keep it the way it is. It's not that bad the way it is. So I also picked up this piece. This was from Woodpile. I think Woodpile is from Hobby Lobby. And this is regularly $6.99 at the Goodwill, I got, I mean at Hobby Lobby, and I got it for $2. Of course, it's usually 50% off for these, but I really like it. It's a nice piece of wood. There's nothing wrong with it. It even has the hanger on the back, and um, I can put something on the front there, and I think for $2, I thought it was a good deal. Now this thing, you guys are probably looking at this going, oh my goodness, what did she see in that? <laughs> Maybe not, maybe you maybe you see something as well. This was $4, but this is a nice metal base. And I actually don't mind the berries on here. I'm not a fan of the green that's on here, but 
I, that can be taken off and I could put my own green in there. I could add stuff in and around, um, or I could take this all out and just use the metal piece and make my own. But the holidays are coming up, fall and Christmas are coming, and I'm going to be doing some tablescapes and things like that, and I think this is going to be part of one of them. I can just visualize doing some stuff with this. So that's why I picked it up. So I could see some potential in that. And that was $4. I got this cute little towelette, it says, this cute little tin. This was $2, it's got a little wooden handle. I don't know where this is from. It probably is from Hobby Lobby. It looks like something Hobby Lobby would sell, but probably not for $2. So I thought it was really cute to put some little soaps or a little cute little towels in, or even some greenery to set on your uh, bathroom sink or even next to your sink in your kitchen or something like that. But I thought it was really cute. So, and it's metal, so very cute little tin. And then this one here, this is kind of out of my range a little bit, but these are um, little candle holders of leaves. Is orange, green, and brown, um, or brown, I, yeah, orange. Orange, green, and brown. So they're very fall colors, and I'm looking for fall decor to put in my booth and just kind of make it look fall-ish. In, you know, in the next month or so, I'll be switching things over slowly and, integrating things in like that but um it's still a little early for me to be thinking about christmas or fall but i am thinking about it but doing stuff on it i just can't bring myself to do it yet where it feels like we just got into summer even though it's sweltering hot here and i feel like i'm just dripping with sweat um it's that way everywhere so but uh i don't want winter yet so i don't want to rush it <laughs> So this basket was one I couldn't pass up. What a nice, huge basket. It's got some berries in it from my little, my little candle decor here. But it does say $5 as is, and that is because this little handle here is a little bit, it's kind of coming undone. So I may just take some twine, twine rope, I'm not sure, but um, kind of, fixing that a little bit, but I think I may keep this for myself or for to use for stuff in my booth as um, holders like pillows or, or blankets or things like that that I may want to sell um, and just keep it in bunches. So I may use this for that, but it's really not that bad. This handle's great. This one is, it works, but it is, you can tell it is a little bit loose. So I wouldn't want to pick anything heavy up with it, but I just love it. It's a great size basket for blankets or towels or what have you, pillows. I really like it. So we're keeping that. So the other thing, I got two big things, and I don't think I showed you guys this section because there was a bunch of guys kind of talking. It, it was very hard in there to do filming. There was a lot of people in there, and there was really loud music. The music was quite loud in there. <laughs> So um, I couldn't just video with the sound on, so. But I saw this and I needed to get this. I have been thinking, sometimes I put it out in the universe, it might sound weird, sometimes I put it out in the universe and I say, I wanna do this, I'm gonna have to make my own cutout and um, just make my own out of scrap wood and do it. And I had been thinking about doing an ironing board and decorating it up, something that you could hang on the wall in your bathroom, laundry room, whatever. And this just happened to be there that day or today. No, it was yesterday, I was there yesterday. The heat's getting to me. Um, but so cute, it's just a little, little ironing board. It's got the little stand with it, but I'm gonna use this as a pattern so that I can make a bunch of them this size, smaller, bigger, whatever, as long as I get this cut out, I can figure out the bottom part pretty easily to make it longer if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, I was pretty excited to find this. So the last thing that I got was this, this stand, this was for, oh, the ironing board had no price on it. So when I took it up, he said $4. So I paid $4 for the ironing board, which is fine. I 
was fine with that and obviously I've got it. So this was $4. The color of the tag was red for 50% off. I saw very few red tags and the ones I did see, I weren't, I wasn't really interested in. So, but this was, it's a little different. Um, it's got a little boo-boo down here, like this little knob is gone, but it may be in the drawer, I suppose, sometimes. No. But it does have an actual working drawer down here, and I just love the metal. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it definitely needs a paint job. It's very um, scuffed up and just not very pretty, and I want to kind of decorate it up a little bit. So this would be good for spices. It would be good for your bathroom to put, you know, maybe soaps or small little shampoos or things like that in it. Uh, could be in your craft room to put your little paints in it, things like that. So I'll have to do something with these down here. And besides that, that's pretty much it. It does have some hangers up here, which I could actually take one of these loops off the top and put that on down here so I didn't have to do anything different with that. But I'm pretty excited to think of something to do with that. It also has a towel bar under here. So when it hangs up, you could hang a towel from it in your kitchen or bathroom. All right, so there you go. That's what I got at Goodwill this week. Pretty excited about some of this stuff and I'm sure you'll be seeing it in the future in future videos. And if so. you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you'll get notification whenever I upload, and you won't miss a video. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later.